TEDCO presents Mentorship Monday. Hello, and welcome to the TEDCO Mentorship Podcast. The aim of this podcast is to encourage excellence in every individual that tries to listen to it, for us to be fruitful in every avenue that God has presented towards us. So we hope and trust that even as you listen to this, you may be encouraged and you may learn something about the art of mentorship. Hello and welcome to another episode of the TED Call Mentorship Monday. This is episode 15 and on this episode we'll be talking about the art of character. When we look through scripture, we see that character is something that we as believers need to have, particularly when it comes to the aspect of going through hard times. Because when we're going through hard times, God is trying to mentor our heart to see if the faith that we have in him is really genuine faith. And this actually helps us grow spiritually because it takes away our reliance on ourselves and actually us now relying on God. A good scripture that we can look at is in Romans chapter 5, uh, 1 to 5, and the words of the scripture say, Therefore, since you have been justified by faith, you have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into his grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance. Endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. And we pray and trust that the Lord who indeed bless the reading of Scripture. So when we look at these few verses, we see that, first of all, we've been justified by the Lord Jesus Christ. We've obtained faith. We have access through faith, through grace, and now we stand in this new reality. But then in verse 3 tells us, now we also rejoice in our suffering. So we've got a different attitude in suffering. And then what does suffering now do to us? Suffering builds endurance. And then when we have endurance, it builds character. And then character builds hope. And then when we hope, it takes our hope and puts it in God himself. So we see a chain reaction in the aspect of how character is being built. First, God uses the sufferings that we go through on a daily basis to help us understand that there is a broken world around us. And that broken world around us is filled and muddled up with sin. And because sin has entered this world, the suffering that we go through is a reality of the brokenness of this world. But then God also uses that same aspects of the challenges that we go through on a day-to-day basis to help us energize our faith in Him. Because as we are growing through our faith day in and day out, we are daily becoming more and more like Christ Jesus. And the way God uses different tools to help us come to that position to be more like Christ, he uses a lot of different aspects to bring us to those things. Firstly, his word. Secondly, encouragement from his people. Thirdly, suffering. Suffering is a tool that helps us firstly identify with the sufferings of Christ. And secondly, it also helps us understand that we have to strip our trust in ourselves or in the things of this world and fully trust in God. And that's the reality that suffering builds. Because I think it builds endurance. Because endurance, it basically tells us that even though we go through certain things and once we come out of that it helps us understand we could endure that situation even though it was hard we did not break 
we did not uh, fall or we did not have an aspect of where we were defeated. We kept on going on and that's the endurance. And then when you have that endurance, it builds a character that maybe if you did not go through that stage, you would never have. You would never under, have understood certain things of what God is trying to teach you in that season of your suffering. So for the believer, let's not despise those areas of where we are suffering and going through hard times. When we are going through those situations, it's hard. But as we are going on day in and day out, we get to see why God allowed certain things to go on in our lives because it's made us a better believer, a better, a better brother and to our fellow brothers and sisters. And also it, be, it also helps us understand the world in a different light as we come out of that situation. And then we are thankful for that season that we have gone through. So the seasons that we go through through hard times build character. And I think those things, we have to be open to them. Open to them in the sense of understanding that what is God trying to teach us as we are going through that. And that's the hardest thing when we're going through a hard thing because we just want it to stop. We just want the good times again. And my encouragement to people who are going through hard times is pray that God can give you the right heart and the right attitude to endure those difficult times when they come because they will come and when they come we have to lean on God. A good example we see in scripture is actually the Lord Jesus Christ. We see that he's now about to endure the cross just before he, he is betrayed by Judas and the first thing that he does is he goes and prays and through his prayer is preparing him to actually go through this agony and we see the emotions that he goes through to the point of where he's trying to say he wants this cup to pass through him but then he submits himself to the will of God and understands the journey that he's about to go through is a journey that is God ordained and God has used this to actually bring people to him to himself through the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ and we see that he prayed and his prayers were so intense to the point of where he's saying he's sweating blood and um, that's a reality that um, we see the agony that he goes through trying to endure the cross and taking the sins of the world and I think that's the beauty of the salvation that we've attained because we know a savior who's gone through suffering and who's through his suffering he endured the cross and he tested death on our behalf so when we're going through hard times we can lean on our savior because he will walk with us and he will comfort us in those hard times so when we're talking about mentorship monday and we're saying, how does God try to mentor our hearts and build the art of character? God will use suffering to build our character. That's one way he builds our character. And we've seen the character that through the Lord Jesus Christ, while he endured the cross and came out on the other side, which has now brought salvation to the world. So now let's also take positive aspects in the seasons that we are going through, through those hard times, knowing that God is doing a work in us to become more like Christ so that when we are out of that season, we've matured even more and uh, we've come out on the other side, learning more things about God and we've stopped relying on ourselves and we put in solely our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And what it actually gives us here is it character produces hope. And what is that hope? Hope in God. And when we say that when we hope in God, we'll be not put to shame. And that's the reality of scripture. 
once we put our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ and God himself, we will not be put to shame because our hope is an eternal hope. And the reality for the believer is though we may be broken and suffering in this world, our hope is one day all those things will be gone away. And one day there will be a time where we will meet our Savior face to face and rejoice at the appearance of him when we see him either through the natural causes of death or through the time where he'll come and take his waiting people home. And this is the encouragement for the believer. But we also have to challenge the one who's not come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the challenge. The challenge is what character are you building? Are you building a character that's solely based on trying to challenge and navigate the things of this world and trying to be uh, so equipped to the point of where you can navigate through either your job or just certain aspects? Or are you trying to build a character that's encompassing not only for this world, but also for the age to come? Because the scripture actually tells us there will be a time where we will be away from this world and our decision of where we go after death or the Lord comes is based on our response towards the gospel. So the character that you're building from scripture is basically saying that character is in the presence of God is not valuable. To, for lack of better words, it tells us that what we are trying to build or our works or whatever we're trying to achieve are nothing but filthy rags. But ultimately, God wants us to have a better character and that character is solely based on how we responded towards the message of the gospel and how we've humbled ourselves. That God can now speak to us and bring us to a point of where we've put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And once we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, he now sharpens us and helps us through different means to become more like Christ on a day-to-day -day basis. That we are all equipped for all seasons, even for now and to the age to come. And where we have put our hope not on the things of this world, but our hope transcends this world and that our hope is in God himself. So that is the encouragement for the one who's not saved. So as we finish this uh, podcast on Mentorship Monday, we pray that if the Lord may bless your heart and uh, encourage your heart to uh, navigate this aspect of trying to have a character that builds endurance and endurance now building hope and the hope that only is focused on God himself. So let's take the aspects of the suffering that we're going through in each and every season. Let's not despise it, but let's ask God for his grace to teach us through those seasons, no matter how hard they are, so that we when we come out from those seasons, God has given us the character that only God can mentor our hearts to fully understand who he is. So we just thank you for taking the time to listen to us and we pray and trust that our thoughts on the art of character have indeed blessed you. Thank you for listening and God bless.